everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and if you've ever wanted to turn your lights on and off from your iPhone or Android device, you are in luck because the Belkin Wemo Insight will do that for you. Here it is. It's the white device here. I'll talk about what this thing is in a second. Uh, basically, what you do is you plug it into your wall, you plug a device into it, and then you pair up the app here, and uh, once it's paired up, you can turn your lights on and off to your heart's content uh, without even having to get up, and that's a pretty cool thing. We live in the future now. Uh, what's cool, though, is the app will, once it's paired up, uh, work over the internet, too. So if your phone leaves your house, uh, you can turn things on and off uh, with, with it just uh, by turning on the app and doing that. So pretty slick. Connects via Wi-Fi. It doesn't consume all that much power. As you can see, I have it plugged into the kilowatt here just to see uh, what it's doing when it's not uh, using a lamp or having a lamp on. And it only consumes about 1.3 to 1.5 watts when it's uh, in uh, the standby mode waiting for commands, which isn't too bad. Now, part of the deal, of course, is that you get the app. And uh, on its basic uh, setting here, you can just hit the uh, switch here and turn your light on and off, as you can see. Uh, but it also has a little bit more. It has some data. It actually keeps track of how many uh, watts your device is consuming, and then it tries to estimate uh, what it's going to cost to operate that device over the course of a month. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can also set some rules, and there's really, on this particular device, only one rule, which is timer-based. So uh, I have it right now set to uh, turn on when the sun sets and to turn off when the sun rises, and you just tell the device where you live, and it will automatically adjust to uh, changes in the season. So it'll obviously uh, be off or be on less when I'm in the summer when I have more daylight. Um, but there isn't really too much to it. However, one thing I do like about it is that it connects to IFTTT. And if you have never used IFTTT, what it is is a, uh, it's a web app that looks for things that happen, like little triggers, and then it does something. So uh, I use it a lot for uh, sending out little email alerts, or when I post a new video, I have it automatically tweet that video out. So when it sees a new video on YouTube, it just goes to my Twitter account and automatically posts that video. But you can also, uh, oops, sorry, I use those same triggers with this. So I could even have it, for example, turn your lights on when I uh, add a new YouTube video to my channel, which would be, I don't know if you'd like that or not, but that'd be a great way of knowing when to tune back in. Uh, but there's other things you can do with it, like connect to Google Docs and some other things. So I'm going to step through uh, in the second segment about how you can use IFTTT with the Belkin Wemo and do some really cool geeky stuff with it. So let's take a look at that. All right, I'm at the IFTTT.com homepage, and I already set up a, a little uh, recipe. That's what they call these things here. And basically what's going to happen is it's going to look for when I turn the light on, uh, it's going to update a spreadsheet in Google Drive and tell it exactly what time that that light switch turned on. So I'm going to turn the light on now. It's uh, 9.58 p.m. here, so I'll hit the switch here, and it'll switch my light on. And then if I go over to my spreadsheet here, uh, we should see in about a minute or two. It doesn't always come right away in real time, uh, but it will update uh, with that time that I uh, turn that switch on. Uh, fairly quickly. And you can see here I have a few uh, other times that I've recorded. So I did it twice at 9.35 p.m. Uh, and it told me, uh, and it says Wemo Insight here, but you could set this name to uh, whichever device that you were using at the time. It doesn't always come over right away. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for it to update, but we can also uh, fire it off a little bit quicker. I think if we hit this button, that'll run uh, the action right now. And let me just uh, run that trigger. Sometimes it uh, takes a little bit of time. And it's currently running, so we will go back and see. Up oh, there it is. So there's the 958, and it popped it in there. Now there's some other ones that we could set up, and in fact, it's almost infinite what you can do with this. And you have to decide what you know what makes sense and what's a little crazy. But uh, we could say if this, so we'll start um, back here again. And this, you can see IFTTT is very deep, and you can do quite a bit with it. But uh, we'll go to our insight switch here. Uh, and we have a few uh, main events that we can do. So uh, we can set a trigger every time the light goes on. We can set a trigger every time the light goes off. So we could do an on and off kind of thing within our spreadsheet. Uh, if it goes into standby mode, we can say, uh, hey, you know, we need to uh, make someone aware of that. Um, if it's on longer than maybe 15 or 20 minutes, we can have the light turn itself off, and that's pretty handy. Uh, if the daily cost rises above a certain amount, we could have it turn the light off. And if the monthly estimate cost rises above a certain level, we could have it not turn on again until the month flips over. Let's say, uh, you know, go back to our switched off now, and let me show you what you can do with it. So we have to select our switch because you can have multiple switches connected to it. We'll create the trigger. And then that. So what do we want to do? Well, there is a lot that we can do. It can pretty much do any of these things. We could, uh, I don't know, I don't know where we get the image from. We could even send something to 500px. Uh, you can uh, go to Blogger. You can, you know, you can do quite a bit. Uh, you can even update your Evernote. Uh, you can create a Google Calendar. And I think somebody was doing something where uh, they were recording how much uh, on each day, how much the uh, the Wemo was consuming, or at least the device connected to the Wemo was consuming. So as you can see here, you could really 
get very deep with uh, IFTTT commands and uh, do a lot of analysis on your lights. And they do have motion tracking versions and a whole bunch of other uh, ways that you can use this system. So you can buy other devices and kind of use them all together. For example, you could set up one motion device and have it connect to um, all your other lights in the house and just turn them all on when something is noticed. Another thing you can do is with the iPhone IFTTT app, it is connected to your location. So when you pull into your driveway and it detects that you've uh, gotten home, uh, it'll send the commands of the lights and turn all those on as well. And you can set that up uh, through the iPhone app. So a lot of things that you can do with a very simple on and off switch. But uh, for now, we're just going to turn the lights off and go on to our next video. This is Lon Sivan. Thanks for watching.